Well, my name is Karum Bangatia. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm a third year student at SAE Institute South Africa, uh, Cape Town campus. The project I'm working on for my, cre for my second creative project for my third year, I'm working on a radio imaging project. So radio imaging is a, it's a very interesting thing that uh, everyone knows, but everyone doesn't know. So radio imaging is when you listen to your favorite radio station, you hear it say, you're listening to this, you're listening to that, this is eh, unaskiza what, 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 so all that. So making those particular jingles, uh, beds, stingers, all this is what we call radio imaging, and that's my project. The creative challenges I faced during making this are, uh, well, quite a number of them. The first one was, I'm not in South Africa at the moment. So I had to relocate to Nairobi, and so I had to look for a studio, at this one, to just record uh, the voice of a talent, uh, which in this case ended up being me. I wanted to record more than one voice of a talent. I wanted a female touch uh, in this particular imaging. And uh, the female voice of artist I look for didn't come through. But you know what this means? We have to go on. And then thirdly was an access to a studio. Access to a studio is quite challenging when you are away from the institution. So, but fortunately, I have some good friends. Eh? Uh, shout out uh, to Trudy and St. P, man. These guys really came through for me. And um, so that came in handy. So the challenge with that is most of this project was mixed on headphones. Yes. Uh, it's just on the last few days is when I did all my referencing in a studio. Yes. The challenges I encountered during production. Um, radio imaging is a, is, is, the reason I took it is because it's a project I had never done before. So it was completely new to me. And I loved that fact about it. So when I began this project, I realized it needed a lot of sound design. So because it needed a lot, I didn't have a lot of it. That was fast. <laughs> I did not have a lot of sound design. So I had to go to countless websites, subscribers I remember, get free, uh, free wishes, free explosions, free glasses, you name it. Just any SFX I could get for free, I subscribed to countless websites so that I could get the effects that I needed for this project. That was one. And uh, that was a big challenge. I did not see that one coming. Yeah. Why radio imaging and not any other project? First, I love radio. Um, as a DJ, I began my career on radio. So, there is a soft spot that I have for radio. That is one. Two, in this particular project, my radio imaging project, it is a Swahili imaging project. And the reason I went for this was because Swahili is the most spoken language in the continent of Africa. With a billion people, 250 million speak Swahili. So I knew this is very versatile. So I knew this would just expand a whole region if I pitched this to a couple of radio stations across the region. So that is why I took it. And then secondly, everyone else I knew was doing an album. You know, everyone else was doing an animation movie or something. I just wanted a project that people don't usually go for. And uh, this is it, man. And it's in Swahili, and uh, that's what I wanted. And I'm just fortunate that uh, I was able to do it.